Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh -huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Tomorrow's match are almost sold out. Oh, hey Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? They do, but people always think war is someone else's problem. Until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, I gotta be honest. Hmm? For the longest time, I wanted to do... everything. I wanted to fight for the planet. Convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like, I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try, I'm in over my head. Maybe you are, lass. But knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebo anymore. We're not powerless. And we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. Alright. Now let's go find Dio. Cool. Always come up short. Hey, lovebirds. Tickets to tomorrow's match are almost sold out. Are you ready to embark on an adventure through the sky? So this will be our what? My apologies, sir. Car guests without a ticket are unable to board the sky wheel. Hey, lovebirds. Tickets to tomorrow's match are almost sold out. Where would you like to go, Kubo? Hold on, here, Kubo. Oh, 
While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh, if she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah, ain't that the truth? stayed as welcome in Midgard and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. 
My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A Cetra, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Find and no Get the people what they want. Take it in a team. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Till you try. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they say curiosity killed the cat.
Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please, you gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene. Are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. I need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. 
no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira! from his nap. Everything okay? They're putting on a production tonight. Loveless. And I happen to have these tickets. I thought it'd be nice to see one of the plays Jesse was in, and I thought you might feel the same. No, you're not busy, so want to come with? Just you and me. Oh, just think of it as one of your jobs, Merc. Fine, but it'll cost you.